very, very true. Beast, I mean, talking about just like pioneers of characters, the people who have stuck with it through thick and through thin, Beast on the Pokemon trainer, extremely dominant. Yep, All right. So this is also going to be a best of three as well. I know a little bit earlier, you know, we're kind of trading between back and forth between uh, best of three, best of five. But I think the schedule of this tournament is fantastic yes. because you play your round one and then you automatically play round two. And I think that's really good because a lot of times players just hate waiting. Starting out on town and city here, I know this is a beast favorite, but this is definitely a Pikachu favorite as well because of the stage. Once you get rid of that platforms, where do you go once you start getting neutral air loot? Right, really, really hard Pikachu and absolute Titan when it comes to those horizontal combos. But being pushed to the corner, no real room to work with, but we could see something get started here. No, great to hold off the stage there. No further continuation on that combo but reset here for H4. Give me this. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a lot of damage here. Beast definitely did not want to go all the way up there. H4, though, got to watch out. I feel like Beast a lot is expecting for a lot of the Pikachu antics off stage, yeah. right? A lot of these drop off back airs. So even trying to get some of the down airs, Beast knows that he's going to be recovering high a fair share. So let's see if H4 is going to be able to pick up on that. Ooh, the tether cancel going to be called out. Down air is air dodged through, but H4 still holding pretty solid advantage. Give me the air dodge back into center stage. No thunder being pulled out here, but the Charizard is now. Yeah, this, for me, I never worry about a B stock until 140 because this character, this Ooh. player is very explosive. But trying to mix it up a little bit, I like how H4 is just holding shield in the corner saying, you know what, I know what you're capable of. Let me just kind of throw myself back there, trying to read the roll in with the up smash. Not going to be able to find it. H4 in a great position right now to get first stock here, but it's being a little bit stubborn. I think we're about a minute in, and only now we're going to be able to find that fair. Mm -hmm. Starting back onto the Squirtle, the Charizard able to hold on for as long as possible, but... Back to the squirrely one here. It will definitely be much easier to maneuver around what this Pikachu's throwing out just to find that stock. Gonna have to switch off. That's definitely kind of the advantage yeah. that H4 has here, too, is that Beast is kind of that tried and true Charizard player. His other two Mon are good, but nothing has that kind of spark like the Zard does. As we're gonna try and get a spike with the Ivysaur, we're not gonna be able to find a great getup attack right from the ledge as well. Looking for something. No tech Beast going to be able to get the stock almost off of that, but H4, that was prime punish. Well, flamethrower at that ledge there too. Ton of respect being given. Wants to account for that quick attack above ledge, which H4 did go for. Juggle started here. Nothing too much coming off of it. Again, resetting with flamethrower. Okay, sharking under that ledge. Very good with the thunder. You see a lot of characters. They have a chance to do that, but bit off a little more they could chew there. I hate seeing that too. I, I feel like a lot of times some players get really excited like when their opponent SDs. Beast also reeling back in the chair because you know that that's just a mistake at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So H4 now going to try and fight their way back into this, but now Beast going to be a little bit more stubborn on the Zard. The parries from both sides have been really fantastic. One of the things though that is pivotal around Beast gameplay is going to be anything that leads into Nair. So he's always going for like something off of it, whether it be a Nair fair, Nair back air, but Beast being on this platform, I actually disagree with it. It's very scary, but he's looking for that back air. Oh, quick attack down gives H4 the immediate position advantage and turns that into a ledge trap. Going for a trump off ledge. No aerial being thrown out afterwards to Beast able to buffer the input. But the pressure is still on. H4 looking for a back air lineup. No. Yeah, the Beast definitely one of the players that sometimes tries to fight his way out of a lot of situations. And while that's great in other Smash games, sometimes resetting the neutral in Smash Ultimate is just the best way to go here. As the back air not going to be able to get enough here. Beast using the flame floor to try to get rid of the T jolt here. Not going to be able to find the F tilt. Ooh. Just little sneak your foot right in there. <laughs> right, hitbox cheese happening right there to Charizard. Big body getting taken out. Once more on this Squirtle, has to find the percentage. I feel like Beast is now kind of stuck in this trap where he has to just get rid of the first stock with Squirtle. And it's not his best Mon here mm -hmm. as he's trying to find this jab lock here. Not going to be able to find anything though. H4 once more just going to back up and say, you know what? I'm in the lead. I don't really need to approach, but if the stock comes to me, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Ton of footsies being played between the Pikachu and the Squirtle, but Ivysaur comes out looking for a big hit down air. Not going to be in a position to find any follow up off of that. Switch to Charizard though, starting at 36%. No juggle. Great tech. The platform double parry. Uh, Beast trying to get the up smash out. Not going to be able to find it. Just going to go for the up throw here on Town of City. It's definitely not going to be enough, even with Pikachu above 100 here. See what's going to happen. Quick attack. Not going to be punished here, but the Ooh. up smash will take it. That wing actually sends out a little mm -hmm. bit to the right and a little bit to the left when it 
like hits. It has a, like a little bit of what I like to call the link effect. It kind of scoops you. Right, out. brings you into the point you need to hit. Thunder not going to connect to your small body on Squirtle, able to avoid air dodging to that platform here too. H4 looking a little bit timid to get back onto this stage. Got to hold. Yep, got to hold. Right thing to do as well. Just not panicking in that moment here. He's still going to go a little bit higher than expected. This is prime juggle space for H4 here. Going to send off the Squirtle. I love the withdrawal back onto stage. Great stuff by Beast. We haven't really seen all of the Squirtle tricks that he has in the pocket yet, but here comes Ivysaur trying to stack on a lot of damage, but it doesn't matter. H4 just constantly below B is not the place that you want to be versus Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Right in the charge right here, double parry, not going to work on the T. Jolt actually gives H4 the ability to get in. Give me this jab grab. Back here, not going to connect, but H4 in the corner versus a heavy hitter like this. Gonna have yeah. to get a juggle started. Okay, trying to read off where it's going to go. B so just very stubborn, sometimes really wants to force his option out. Go Beast, just has to recover. Right option, but H4 there with the forward air here. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, the jump from ledge. Not going to be punished all the way. Beast not too willing to throw out Flare Blitz right now. Fly coming up here too. Heavy, heavy rage. So Flare Blitz given a few more percent could be devastating. Okay, 41 on the jabs. Up there, not going to scoop or get a shield drop. He's trying to land on the shield a little too often, though, on H4. It's giving H4 a lot here. Going for the fly, not going to be enough. But Max Rage almost. F tilt going to send H4. Oh, oh, oh my God, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, K. Okay. Oh, my. Script, we're commentators, OK? You tell me what just happened. <laughs> he got, he he got just shot out of a cannon on that platform, using the run speed to go across. And the taxi put him into overdrive, sending that forward air in the magnifying glass to take the stock. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, wow. And you saw the pop-up coming from Beast there. This is my house, okay. Yeah, uh, Beast is certainly an, an expressive. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true, very, very true. I love true. when people, when I get to cast his sets and I have to act like I don't know the guy. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what's going on here? We're gonna change to Pika Libre though. I still believe in H4 here. It was just such an unfortunate SD stock one. And yeah. then just the, the flare bit, the half flare blitz, half not flare blitz, just taking the ride on the train here. But it looks like these two are now boxing a little <laughs> bit more as we're back on time. And it was so interesting too, because like you said, Beast being a little bit more stubborn when he got into the late ends of that yeah. game. And like you could tell, like just did not give up, always was looking for some way, be it as like unique or minute as possible to take that stock. And you definitely saw it come out there to end that one. Okay, here we go. H4 looking for the option here. Beast gonna go all the Ooh. way down, but I think H4 kind of knew too. Fly though, the hip, the super armor, excuse me, actually going to, you know, help Beast out here. But this is what I was kind of worried about. A lot of these quick attacks are definitely going to be very pesky for a character like Charizard. Mm -hmm. Oh, not going to get the grab. Looking for cross up on shield there too. H4 still in advantage. Hard to get down with his big body. Jumps being used here too. Spent then. Has to air dodge back. Feet on the ground though. Yeah, a little bit scary here. Beast kind of stuck. I like the reverse flamethrower though to at least just get on the ground at this point. But now Beast still kind of dancing on H4 shield. Yeah. I think a run up grab would just like kind of throw H4 for a loop here. There's going to be the grab here. Not going to commit to the full jab. Trying to get the fair, but yeah. shielding all the way on the platform. Yeah, I really want to DI out there to catch with that forward air. Not going to be the case. H4 missing on the up smash, but Beast finds one. Percent the difference here too, but both characters very much at kill percent. Looking for a downer to catch the quick attack, but going high enough to get a scoop on it. Oh, lingering hit on the forward smash. H4 draws first blood in game two. Okay, Beast trying to go for the up smash there. Kind of working on definitely new ways to KO. He's, yeah. he's still expanding on, still getting some moves in the Squirtle arsenal here. Trying to get the up smash though. H4 though going to extend this lead here to be able to find a couple of up airs. And this is kind of what H4 is excelling on so much. He's forcing Beast right away into the corner, capitalizing on the switches as well yeah. as Beast tries and finds the fair, but it's just H4 constantly going into like this corner side and he's trying to bait Beast to go there because Pikachu is a massively good edge guarder. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not gonna find the forward air immediately, but finds the back air on the retreat to that right side, H4 losing a stock. Now Beast kind of been switching out of the Ivysaur really earlier, definitely seems to maybe be the weakest link, at least in this Pikachu matchup. Charizard putting on for the whole team though. Yeah, definitely a little bit scary off stage as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and the tether. Yeah, very scary. But now Charizard 
going to get knocked out of a couple Pikachu moves here, but going to connect the full Nair here. I think Beast is starting to realize that the platform is not the place where you should be going versus right. this character. H4, though, beautiful down smash to cover it all up here. And now, honestly, looking to extend it to a game three here, this beautiful Pikachu combo looking good so far. Mm. Tether cancel, very smart. Obviously, very easy to predict where the opponent is going to go. And you got that line drawing right to him from ledge. Okay, gonna be able to find the Nair here, trying to find the fair to connect here. And now H4, once more, just playing it a little bit aggressive, but like we saw a little bit earlier in the last match, I love this aggressive play into just the back off. Mm. Gonna get the trip, and the getup attack is actually gonna be punished here. And these quick attacks just dancing around Charizard, a little too big, a little too lumbering to be able to find out where Pikachu is going to be. Good parry, though, by Beast. Uh, like I said, I never worry about a Beast stock until 140, but just going to go for the back throw on the punish. T-Jolt not going to be enough yet. Let's see, H4. I think Ooh. Beast is now catching on to timing, too. Yeah, you saw that short hop just go yeah. straight over the quick <laughs> attack, too. That was kind of nice. Flamethrower here, just take this damage. I, ledge. I love the fact, also, that H4 has not lost like their moxie mm -hmm. in this set as well. I feel like a lot of players would have been kind of tripped up after what happened game one. But now this is where Beast kind of thrives. Going for the, I was about to say, going for the spot dodge and trying to get the up smash, but H4 going to be able to respond here. First back air hits, can't find the second though. H4 going to try and disengage, but now trying to fight his way out of it into the up smash. Going to be able to find it. We're going to game three, mm -hmm. Yeah, dancing around big Charizard shield there too. It is really, really hard, especially when like, you know, you want to have a good out shield option too, but if you do it against Pikachu and you whiff, it is going to be so scary for you. So got to know when to drop, got to know what you want to do when you come out of that drop and H4 capitalizing on that mix. I've always said to Beast is that he's one of those players that wants his option to work so much more than his opponents, but he's not reacting. A lot of the times he's just trying to like barrel his way through a brick wall. And sometimes it's just so much better to not try and force your opponent there, but to just react to what your opponent is doing. I want to see him play a little bit more passive this game, but regardless, we are going into game number three. I think we did change the stage up as well, so we'll see how this one's going to go on the verge of an upset. Mm -hmm. Game three here on Pokemon Stadium, too. Squirtle to start, of course, going to have to work right here. Like the footsies between the Squirtle and the Pikachu have been really nice to see. It's just like neither of them can really get too big of strings, but how can you blame them? I love the way that they're both shielding around each other yeah. as well. They're both kind of nervous. They both don't want to let each other get something started here, but he's going to be able to respond with about 35% of his own here. As I like going up there with the Nair. So yeah. you know what? You're not that safe to come back here. Let me just play a little bit more aggressive. F tilt, not going to be able to find anything. So now it's honestly H4 now is the one kind of being shoved in the corner. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, too, because that Nair was kind of two for one, beat through a T-Jolt, and was able to get a hit on a Pikachu. So I'd like to see a little more of that if we do see Squirtle versus Pikachu further in this set. I think we're going to see it until it just doesn't work anymore. Good on H4, though, not getting locked up into the jab lock here. And now Beast actually holding center stage. You know what? I don't want to approach that ledge until I know that you're about to get KO'd here. Now Beast kind of back turn, looking for the back door, not going to be able to find it. It's so interesting because Beast playing so grounded here, too, kind of finally finding the grab. There's H4's response to that. But the first 115%. Beast dominating the ground extremely well, switching to Charizard immediately. Yeah, I like that kind of trip up there because a lot of the times players would try and fight their way out of the corner, but yeah. he's just going to take the passive approach and try and switch here. H4, good run up, looking for the Thunder, Ooh. not going to be able to find it. Beast trying to line up for a back air, not going to be able to find that as well. And now Beast just looking for that Nair to get something started here, but that Pikachu Nair is going to cover so much space. Looking for the forward throw, not going to be able to yeah, get Yeah, wanted it. to roll away there really bad. Now put himself in the corner. A lot of respect being given from H4, though. The immediate forward air in, then it's running right back. Do not want to get caught by any of those burst options. Char Charizard has down smash going to be the choice. Seldom seen, but comes out in a big way here. Dash attack not going to be enough with no rage on Pikachu. But unfortunately, no B reverse from the flamethrower. So great pickup from H4 here. We're going stock to stock script. This is a very intense set. <laughs> and Squirtle back online versus the Pikachu. 0%, 0%. Can we find the same success we saw in the first stock? H4 drawing first percentage here on the second. Okay. Oh. 
finds the fair, but now going to have Beast up in the air just a little bit. Here we go, though. Hitboxes are going to trade, and now Beast has to make this kind of option happen here. Like I said, he's trying to force the door open, but it's not exactly falling into his hand every single time. Mm -hmm. Up air juggle is going to get halted by the stop on the platform, but does not matter. If you switch the Ivysaur, is all the same for H4. Dancing around with these quick attacks, forced to the Charizard immediately. The scoop up air on landing. What an odd hitbox sometimes Charizard is. That neck goes crazy, but the back air is going to connect here, trying to find the fair beast, trying to get the timing down, but still once more just Ooh. not reading the exact place where Pikachu is going to go. That fair is going to connect. It's not going to be enough. I love the way that H4 is not just automatically going for the Thunder as well and just still juggling these. With the roll behind here, trying to find a grab, no quick attack, not going to be scouted out with any sort of hitboxes. H4 catches Beast on landing, stuck on this platform again. This is where h 4 found a lot of damage. Okay, H4 has Beast on the ledge here. Beast just trying to escape, not going to be able to evade the dash attack here as we're going back. But every single time, Ooh. Beast is doing the right thing by parrying the bolts, but it's just met up with another option. Right, just running right into it. H4 almost expecting them to be parried and then able to capitalize off of that. Yep. Okay, trying to find the up air, not going to be able to find anything. H4 going to be out for blood right now. Going to be able to find a nice 38, 40, 50 percent uncontested this stock, and still oh. on their second stock, 27 percent. Great hold by H4. Beast, though, definitely going to get a little bit antsy starting very soon. Razor Leaf coverage here too. Down tilt not going to catch it. Going above ledge just slightly with that quick attack. Very good positioning. Looking yeah, for a turnaround grab. Yeah, seeing Ivysaur now too. I think Beast is trying to figure something out. But sometimes he gets in his own head where he feels like he can't do it. But H4 doing such a good job of just juggling Beast. No matter what Pokemon he's on. Mm -hmm. Squirtle, Ivysaur, Charizard, they're all getting juggled just the same. And Beast trying to make something happen. But still stuck on a platform. Just can't land. Yeah, this platform has been very, very bad for Beast recently. Just has to hold shield there too. And Pikachu puts out so many multi-hits around you. So it's like you can cross up left, right, or just fall back to the ground. Very hard to predict where the rat will go. Going to send out the entire combo here. This is H4's time. Got to figure out where he's going to go. The lingering hitbox of F Smash is going to be it. That is going to be H4 getting the upset over Beast here. Going on to be fighting Louis Money, I believe, in the pool. Mm -hmm. Very, very solid set, though. I mean, with an electric game, one like that, too, coming down sure. and coming back after something like that as well, too. Something you pointed out. Shout out to H4 for not losing the Moxie. Really still like yeah. confident and very poised in the combo game they were going for. And it led out to the win in the end. For sure. It's just definitely one thing that we always talk about is mentality. Yeah. You have to make sure, even after kind of crazy things like that happen, you have to keep yourself calm. But now, honestly, this is going to be a doozy. 